Life Cycle of a Frog. Boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to draw and color the life cycle of a frog. Boys and girls, you will need a white piece of paper, pencil, black crayon, green crayon, brown crayon, and a blue crayon. A frog lays soft jelly-covered eggs. First, we are going to draw the frog's eggs. So draw circles. Now shade the circles in with your pencil. Are these circles representing boys and girls? Yes, the frog's eggs. When an egg hatches, a tadpole with a big body and a long tail pops out. So let's draw a big round body and a long tail. This tail looks kind of like a triangle. Put a circle for its eye and a little line here for its mouth. Isn't he a cutie? Soon the tadpole grows strong back legs with webbed feet and small front legs. The eyes and mouth grow larger. Boys and girls, let's draw a big circle or oval shape for the tadpole's body. But this time we're going to draw a little tail because the tail becomes smaller as the tadpole turns into a frog. Then we're going to draw some big strong legs here with webbed feet. Put a large eye here. Remember the eyes are getting larger and a big round eye here. Then his mouth is big. He looks like he's smiling, huh boys and girls? Then his front legs are small. We make like stick legs here for the front. Let's put this back leg here, the big strong back leg. He has legs that help him hop. At last, the tail disappears and the tadpole is a frog. Let's draw a frog. So make a big round circle. These are like semicircles and they represent his eyes, his big eyes on his head. Put the pupils right there. Now let's make those back strong legs of his. Let's get those webbed feet on. drawing an imaginary line across so I can get those back legs drawn at the same level. But boys and girls, just try the best you can. We're just having fun drawing a life cycle of a frog. And you know, boys and girls, when you're drawing, you can retain more information. Now let's draw the frog's front legs. We're going to draw the frog's mouth and 
two dots for his nose. Now is the time to look at your drawing to see if there's any mistakes that you want to correct. And I want to make his body right here a little rounder. Now we're using a pencil so, you know, we can't erase. Make this circle a little lower and then I'm going to erase that other line above it. So boys and girls, go back and see if you can improve on your drawing a little bit. Are you ready to color? Well now get your black crayon because we are going to color our frog's eggs black. Now get your blue crayon because we are going to draw the water. The frog's legs have been laid in the water. And the blue represents the water. Here's stage two of our tadpole. We're going to trace around our tadpole with the green crayon. Trace around every pencil mark with your green crayon, boys and girls. After you trace all the pencil marks, now we're going to shade in our tadpole with our green crayon. Here's a green crayon. Now pick up your brown crayon because we're going to use brown to trace over our tadpole again because the tadpole is not just green it's also brownish so we trace over all our lines then color over the green lightly get your blue crayon. What do you think we're going to be using the blue crayon for? Yes, the water. Our tadpole lives in the water and the water represents the pond. Tadpoles live in ponds. Pick up your green crayon again. We are going to use the green crayon to outline our tadpole. And this is stage three. Our tadpole is getting larger, but its tail is getting smaller. And he's growing different parts on him. So you see those strong legs and those big eyes and that large mouth and the front legs. Yes, go over all those lines with your green crayon. Then shade in your cute little tadpole. And boys and girls, don't compare to mine. It might not look exactly like mine, but if you drew different parts of this tadpole, you are doing a great job and I'm so, so proud of you. So now get your brown crayon. We're going to trace over all these lines again. Here's his back leg. Then we have his little tail. Go back to the other back leg and his webbed feet. Go around his big body. Around those big eyes. And his front legs. tadpole. You know boys and girls tracing over each part of the tadpole is making the information clearer for you in your mind. I'm going to ask you a question. What are we going to use the blue for? Yes the water. And what does the water represent? The pond! 
hand. Yes! Great job! Here we are. Here's our frog. Isn't he a cutie? Okay, we're going to trace over everything. Trace around that big eye and his big strong back legs and web feet. Go around to the front. His front legs and his four toes. See those four lines there? Those represent the toes. Keep on going around his face. That big other eye. Other back leg. I say back leg. It is strong, boys and girls, because they need strong legs so they can hop. And his mouth and his nose. Shade him in with your green crayon. get your black crayon. We're going to go over his pupils with the black crayon so it makes his pupils pop out at us. Get your blue crayon and we're going to put our frog in the water. But we're only going to draw it halfway here. This is the water. Because boys and girls, a frog now lives half the time in the water and the other half of the time on land. So get your brown crayon and we're going to make some little hills here so it looks like land. Then we're going to color in our land the brown. girls get your pencil and we're going to spell eggs E G G S spells what eggs now let's go to stage two tadpole get your pencil here we go E A D P O L E Spells what boys and girls? Tadpole! Now let's go to stage three. He's still a tadpole, so let's spell tadpole again. T A D P O L E Spells what again, boys and girls? Yes, tadpole. Now let's go to stage four. Stage four. What is he now, boys and girls? A frog. Let's write frog. F R O G. And that spells what, boys and girls? Frog! Yeah! We drew the life cycle of frog. Boys and girls, enjoy looking at real tadpoles and frogs. Check out the tadpole's big body and long tail. I'm going to show you a few different types of frogs and be looking for the different parts that we drew.
they poisonous in the wild and they're not poisonous here? So it has to do with their environment. Oh, okay. So insects are getting certain plants and then they're eating the insects and the whole cycle. I see, okay. Now, these in the wild would be uh, poisonous, but they're not here. See, there's their food right there. Water. Fruit flies. That's their food. <laughs>